This week in group, we made our own paint. We made our paint using cornstarch, water, and food coloring. The only item you're going to need in addition to those ingredients is a container to store it in. So let's get started in making our own paint. For our first recipe, we're gonna use water or distilled white vinegar. Um, and then we're also going to use cornstarch and food coloring. What you want to do is three parts water or vinegar and two parts cornstarch and we're going to mix it. I have just under four ounces, it's about six tablespoons of vinegar here. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour that into my bowl. And then I'm going to add my cornstarch. I had six tablespoons of water or vinegar, so I'm going to do four tablespoons of cornstarch. Okay, and now that I've got those in there, I'm just going to mix them up. And you can use either your measuring spoon if you'd like, or if you feel like that's not mixing well. I have a fork, which I thought would kind of whisk it together a little bit better break up the giant pieces. The best thing with this recipe is you don't have to heat it up. A lot of the paint recipes online require heating. Um, you know, and if you don't want to be at the stove trying to make paint, this is a great alternative. So we've got this milky white substance. There's no chunks in it. It's well mixed. And then we're just gonna go ahead and add our food coloring. Um, this is a great opportunity to offer your child some choices. So you might have different colors of food coloring. They can pick one or two. The more drops you put in, the ri more rich of a color you're gonna get. So I'm adding two drops of green. And I think I'm also gonna add two drops of blue to give it a teal color. Sometimes the kids get a little, a little out of hand and they would um, squeeze the whole bottle in. So you might want to be careful with that. Um, so we just mix that in and now we have a nice teal green paint. If I want to make it more blue, I can add another drop of blue color to it and see if that changes it up a little. Makes it a nice color. And if you want to make a large batch first of the vinegar or water with the cornstarch, you can. And then you can separate it into smaller containers so that you can make a variety of colors. Um, I have these small cups here that come with lids, which are perfect for storing it in um, because we do want to hold on to our paint until uh, next week in art. Um, so if you have containers like this or small Tupperware containers, you can also just mix it in a Ziploc bag and then just kind of line the bags up, stand them up with the zipper up top. Um, and I'm sure all the paint will go to the bottom. One thing with this paint, as it's stored, it will get a little chunky because the cornstarch and the water or vinegar will start to separate. But before we use it in art group, we'll just give it a quick mix and it'll be ready to go. Another recipe to make your own paint at home is simply using corn syrup and food coloring. That's all you have to add. You don't have to measure anything out. You're just gonna kind of use as much as you'd like to make and put your corn syrup in a dish and then choose what color you'd like to make your paint and add the food coloring to the corn syrup. So I did a little bit of yellow and a little bit of red. I'm gonna just use the back of this paintbrush to mix it, it's really thick. And you just mix it up and it's a thick and sticky paint, but the nice thing with this paint is that it has a real glossy look to it um, when you paint it on something. And with these containers, I'm just gonna pop the top on and now my paint's ready for next week so I can get started and make another color.